SolidWorks, users often expect when they change the units, the part will not change. If I draw a circle and apply a dimension to it, I'm controlling the size of that dimension. And although when I change this to one inch, it doesn't update because the part automatically rescales when I add the first dimension, my part actually resized there. If I change my units at this point to millimeters, I see that that circle didn't change at all. That's because SolidWorks doesn't change the geometry normally when you change the units. It simply displays the values differently with the correct units that you selected. There's an exception to this, however. If I double click on this dimension, and I type in equal a. I have this option to link it to a global variable. This is going to create a global variable called a because that's what I typed in and link my dimension to it. But now if I change my units my circle disappeared. What happened? Well if I scale the fit I will see that this dimension <clears throat> is still 25.4, but now it's 25.4 inches. So I've just changed the size of my model simply by changing my units. The reason for this is that when I link dimensions this way, I don't automatically specify units. So right here, this is 25.4. 25.4 what? Well, when it gets to this equations expression, it evaluates the units. It's 25.4 millimeters because I have millimeters selected, but when I change that to inches, it becomes 25.4 inches. To override that, I can explicitly set the units here. Now this evaluates with units. So, I see 25.4 millimeters, and if I change it to inches, I see one inch. <clears throat>